Welcome to the flip side. So, it is Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday, October 17th, 17th, I think? My dates are still all messed up because it's an 18th. Because I haven't been to school in weeks. And so, I just, all my dates and everything are mixed up right now. So, but I go back tomorrow uh, because I'm over my bronchitis. Still have a concussion, but hopefully that goes away too soon, and uh, I can get back to football. So today I want to talk about a story of when I was back in fourth grade, when I was just a little kid again, and I think as I've established in previous episodes, when I was a little kid, I was so terrified of everything. Like, I was a scared kid all the time. So, one thing especially that I was afraid of were uh, were bugs. I did not like bugs, especially hairy bugs that flew. That includes bees, butterflies, moths, um, flies didn't ever really scare me, but who's scared of flies? If you're scared of flies, that's, that's pretty bad. Okay, so, it was fourth grade, and my class went on a field trip to the high school biology class. And in this biology class, the teacher's Mrs. Coop, and she's still the teacher now that I'm at high school. Uh, well, one of the biology teachers. And, excuse me, they, we were going to study butterflies. So I was already kind of freaked out because, like, butterflies, as soon as I heard that, something just kind of clicked. And my, I started to freak out a little bit. And I was a very anxious kid as well, so, like, as soon as I knew I was about to face something I was afraid of, then I really freaked out. So... We go to the class, and the butterflies are in like this glass cage. I don't know. I don't know if you'd call it a cage. It's like a little container, like a like a like a fish tank without any water in it, kind of, but smaller. And so the only in my mind, the only thing separating me from death was this little glass box. And so I was freaking out. I sat. We we split into like groups of five, and each table had a butterfly set up. And also, each table had two high schoolers who were there like as assistants. And these high schoolers, I guess, could tell that I was afraid, because I sat as far away from the butterflies as possible. And I was freaking out. I was so scared. And they obviously picked up on that because they pushed the butterflies towards me. And they were, like, antagonizing me. Like, they were like, oh, uh, come closer. You need to look. Tell me what colors this one is. I'm like, no. I'm not getting close to those butterflies. And so, like, the whole group was laughing at me. And, like, they all thought it was so ridiculous. That I was scared of these butterflies. Which I guess it is pretty ridiculous looking back. But at the time, that was a legitimate fear. I thought the butterfly was just going to pop out of this glass and just kill me. Because butterflies are deadly. I don't know if you've heard. You heard about in uh, South America, there was like 50,000 killer butterflies traveling in swarms just taking out cities. It's a true story. Like, they would kill babies. They would hunt down and kill babies and take them off. They'd fly them off. They'd all group together as one big cloud of killer butterflies. They'd float the babies off and eat them. I don't actually know if that's true. If it was true, that's awesome. Well, that's not awesome at all, actually. That would be terrifying. On um, then, but then my fears would be that they would be uh, uh, ratified, ratified, because obviously I knew something that the rest of the world didn't know. Which, you know, I'm pretty sure I know a few things that the whole world is just not ready to know yet. But, you know, it's good to keep things on, in, your, in your sleeve, under your belt. What is that phrase? I don't know. I'm tired. I, I'm concussed. How am I even doing a video right now? I've done videos for the past, like, two weeks. The, actually, the past month. Concussed. That is impressive, okay? I'm gonna go. Take a nap. Actually, I have a lot of homework to do before I go back to school tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to going back to school. I still don't feel good. So going back is not going to be fun tomorrow. I'm going to get so much 
Actually, I don't think I really missed that much, though, because I kept getting my homework periodically while I was gone, so shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, so brand new video coming out tomorrow on Jacob and Monty channel. Go check it out. It's just Jacob and Monty, not Jacob and Monty channel. That would be a silly name. So go check that out. It's um, it's called Out of Ideas, and me and Monty sing I the Tiger really poorly. So go check that out. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe here at this channel. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Go over to Jacob and Monty and subscribe. Go through and watch our videos. They're re I think they will make you laugh. They're really good. If you like these videos, which are really garbage, you will love our other videos. Because those we actually put effort into those. So go check those out. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos and liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Thank you, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my downstairs. I just kept walking back and forth. You want to watch Sports Nation? I love that show. It's a good show. But that's a story for another vlog. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you on the flip side.